Hi guys, if you want to see how I got this synthetic blind wig to this color here, make sure you guys stay tuned to the video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that bell. Okay guys, so to color this wig, we're going to be using the Adore Semi-Permanent Color. And I'll put all the colors down in the description bar that I use. And of course, we're going to be using the watercolor method. So first thing first, I'm going to put my first color, which was like a bluish type color. Then I put the green in the water also and mix them together. And I pretty much just put the whole wig inside the bowl to uh, get that one color. But you guys, this is a synthetic wig. So you guys, it took me a lot to color this wig because before I did the watercolor, I tried putting the color onto the wig itself and it did not take at all. So I figured if I used the water, water color method, I can't even talk, but I figured if I used this method that the wig would take more to the color that it is a thin, synthetic wig. Okay guys, so I replaced the water because I want the tip of the wig to be like a pink um, type color. And I pretty much again just put the, the dye inside the water and I dipped only the tip of the wig into the water. And you guys, I'm telling you this synthetic wig was just not taken to this color as I wanted it to but it did a little something but it didn't take to the color like I wanted as I stated but yeah you guys so this is pretty much how I color this synthetic this synthetic <laughs> synthetic wig Okay guys, so once I was done coloring the wig, I pretty much had to customize the wig uh, to me, to my, you know, liking. And you guys, again, this is a synthetic wig, so this wig was shedding like crazy. Oh my God. And as you can see guys, once I put a little color in, and you can see the color is not that pigmented. It's not, I, you can't really see it that well in there, but you can see a little color in there. But, you know, it's going to have to do. I was not 100% in love with it, but, you know, it is what it is. It is a synthetic wig. So, yeah, you guys. So, I'm going to just kind of cut up this wig to my liking. Hey guys, please support my channel by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so every time I come with a new video, you guys will definitely be notified. Okay guys, so now that I'm done cutting the wig, I'm going to try to flat iron this wig because I believe you can put a little heat on it. But to be honest with you guys, it was not really curling the way I wanted to. It just looked like the hair was just completely straight on it because once I, you know, tried to color it, like the, the shape of the wig completely lost its shape. But I tried my best to try to give it a little shape to it with this flat iron. But it really wasn't helping much. But 
again it is what it is because it is a synthetic wig Hey guys, if you like this video so far, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Hey guys, make sure that you head over to Instagram and follow me at Miss Kitty Baby. I am very active on my Instagram page, so definitely go over to Instagram and follow me again at Miss Kitty Baby. Okay guys, I think I'm finishing up with this wig and I absolutely have to say I'm not 100% in love with this wig because once I tried to put color to it, it completely just went bone straight and I tried to flat iron it to make it look more natural but it wasn't. But again, this is a synthetic wig. But anyway, you guys, just let me know your thoughts on the color and also the wig. And I'll put everything down in the description bar uh, about this wig. And again, just let me know your thoughts.